Okay, valve cover off. I got the engine aligned. We're going to take a look at some uh, valve adjustment here. We'll start with number one cylinder. We'll look at the intake and the exhaust. Rotate it over till the next one comes up in the firing order. Do that one, and I think that'll be sufficient for the video. Then I'll go through the rest of them on my own uh, without the camera. So, our intake and exhaust. Uh, well, exhaust is down here. Get my headers down here. That's my exhaust side. Intake. I can't see the intake manifold, but it's on this side. Okay, so I've got my intake, got my exhaust. Now, exhaust, we're looking for somewhere in between 0.23 and 0.33 millimeter. Intake, somewhere between 0.13 and 0.23. So uh, as long as I can uh, basically get the lowest value in there, and I can't get the biggest value in there, I'm going to call this good. So... Let's go ahead and look at the exhaust. It's pretty easy. It's right here. So what I'm going to attempt to do here, we're going to uh, put our feeler gauges in between the cam lobe and the valve bucket. I'm going to take it right down along the lobe. Follow that down and he slides in there real easy okay so I know I've got at least that much so the lowest value the uh, 0.23 slides right in now hopefully we'll put the 0.33 in just the same way I'll attempt to slide it right down the lobe and see if I can get him in between the lobe and that bucket and I cannot. So I'm going to be happy with this one. Now, I'll do the exact same thing over on the next one inboard, the next valve lobe or cam lobe. This is the exhaust. And again, you really can't see anything there. But he slid in without any kind of problem in between the cam lobe and the bucket. So I'll pull him back out. We'll attempt to put the 0.33 in. And he does not want to go at all. All right, so good. I'm going to say that one is good also. So now let's take a look at the intake. Intake minimum value should be the 0.13. And again, here's the lobe. I'll go ahead and slide him right down. Oh, and he fits in there real nice. Okay, so again, there is the minimum, not a problem. Now, let's check for the maximum. Maximum is going to be the 0.23. So we'll try the 0.23. Same way, I'm going to follow that lobe right down. And then see if I can't get him to go in between the lobe and the bucket. And I cannot. He will not go. So I'm going to be happy with this one. So we'll go over and we'll check the lobe right over here. All right, this one slides in. No real resistance there. So the minimum, we've got at least the minimum. Now we'll go ahead and try the 0.23 millimeter. Oh my cam. All right, now I'm gonna try to follow that right down in between the lobe and the bucket, and I cannot get him in there. So I'm gonna say that this one is good. All right, now, next thing we'll do, we'll rotate the engine. We'll try and crank him over counterclockwise. I should be able to rotate this 120 degrees and I'll bring my next one up in the firing order. Now, we're gonna say that's about 90 there.
somewhere in that neighborhood. Now, if I'm right, number five should be up. I believe the firing order is 153624, I think. I can see this cam lobe. He's pointing out. This is the only one here. And you can't see it. But I'm going to go right up here and I can feel the intake cam lobe is also pointing outward. Alright, so here is number five. This one. This one. And then the intake here and here. So we're going to do the same thing. Let's take a look at the exhaust. It's down here. It's easier to get at. So for the exhaust, I'm looking for somewhere in the neighborhood of 0.23 to 0.33. So let's take the 0 0.23. 0.23. All right, that fits in there without any problem. as does that. All right, so this slides in there without any kind of difficulty at all. Pull him out. So I know that the minimum value is there. We've greater than 0.23 millimeter. Now we'll go ahead and put the uh, 0.33. not go there. The point three three does not go there. So I'm gonna say that this exhaust is okay. All right we're back. Had a little bit of camera trouble so uh, I didn't get to show you the intake valve adjustment on the uh, second cylinder in a firing order, which should be cylinder number five. Uh, let me show you something else here that might help you as far as finding the cylinders or bringing them up to TDC. Uh, first thing is to bring number one here up to TDC, and again, TDC compression here. Uh, for this, sorry, both of the cam lobes are going to be pointing like this. Okay, so there is my intake, there is my exhaust. Also, there's a slot in both of the cams there. Once you have this thing at TDC on number one, uh, again, both of those cam lobes should be pointing out like they are here. And if you can kind of visualize that slot, if we were to put a uh, just a piece of metal or ruler or something in that slot, um, they would align with each other and it would be parallel to the, the surface of that head right there. So this is number one. Now. I'm going to go ahead, uh, just something that might make you feel a little bit easier about finding TDC for the other cylinders. For every 120 degrees rotation, another cylinder is at TDC. So if you go through the firing order, if I start at number one, I move this 120 degrees, number five should be up and so on and so forth. Uh, I just kind of eyeballed it when I did it first time, at least on the camera. Uh, Here's something that might be a little bit closer. Now, what I did is I took my socket. Well, the socket's a six-point socket. And what I did, focus, I just marked each of those six points. And then I just kind of drew a line on the end of the socket there to correspond with those points. Uh, this is a six-sided fastener there, so is my socket. So if I move this two complete points or two flats, that's 120 degrees. So what I'll do, I'll set this up like so. Now depending on your where you're standing, you might have a parallax error. So let me move this. That's looking much better there. So with that aligned, I'm going to go ahead and move this so I have two 
lines or two flats. Anyways, that is 120 degrees. So now I go over and cylinder number five should be up on top dead center compression. Okay, that's cylinder number five. We can see that both of the exhaust cam lobes are pointing out. There's one there, one there. Now at the top, we're not going to be able to see that because it is kind of buried there. And I can get in and I can just feel at the top. At number five is pointing out both lobes. All right, so we already did the uh, measurement on the exhaust. I don't know if I can get in there and get you a better picture of that or not. So right there is where I'm going to attempt to go. Okay. So I'm just moving it right in there. So we can get a little closer look. It's just going right down there in between the cam and the bucket. Now if we look from down here, there, you can actually see the feeler gauge coming in between that cam lobe and the bucket. And we can do the same thing on this side here. And there that is. So at least maybe get an idea of where to place your feeler gauge. Okay, now as far as doing the intake, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move right in there. So by doing that, let's see if we can get any better light there. Okay, so he's just going right in between that cam lobe and the bucket. And I'll do this one, and we check this one over here. All right. Minimum is fine. Maximum on this is going to be the uh, 0.23. That is not going. I cannot make him go in there and go to this side here. And again, it, I cannot make him go in. So as far as I'm concerned, cylinder number five is good. So no adjustment required. Now I had already finished up the adjustments before I came back to show you this one. I didn't realize when the camera quit recording, uh, I didn't realize it until I was pretty much done with the valve adjustment or the check. So here you go. You get to see the uh, check for the valve lash on cylinder numbers one and five. And I went ahead, did them all, and uh, none of them need to be adjusted, which is just fine with me. Uh, because I really don't want to pull the cams out. All right, so there, that's what I wanted to share with you. I'm going to, uh, as I said, replace the plugs, put everything back together again, and then uh, do some riding and hope that there is no blizzard on its way. So, all right, thanks for watching.